In the murky twilight of the financial world, an ominous cloud loomed over the regional banking sector. The sun had barely set when an unsettling report rippled through after-hours trading, triggering a cascade of fear and uncertainty. PacWest Bancorp, which is based in Los Angeles and owns Pacific Western Bank, a prominent player in the industry, saw its shares plunge by a staggering 50%, dragging other bank stocks down into the abyss. While most people are aware of PacWest as a prominent regional bank, they may not know that the bank has a unique lending division focused on venture capital financing. PacWest's subsidiary, Pacific Western Bank, operates a venture banking group that provides customized financial solutions and services to venture capital firms and their portfolio companies. This specialized focus on venture capital-backed businesses sets PacWest apart from other regional banks, allowing it to foster relationships with emerging technology and life sciences companies. Through this niche division, PacWest plays a significant role in supporting innovation and entrepreneurship in various industries. Bloomberg News released a chilling report fueling concerns over the financial stability of regional banks. This came on the heels of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank's collapse in March, and the recent acquisition of First Republic Bank by J.P. Morgan Chase and company PacWest shares, already shaken by First Republic's downfall, now seemed caught in a whirlpool of uncertainty. As the shadows of doubt crept in, Bloomberg revealed that PacWest's leadership was exploring strategic alternatives, including the possibility of a sale. Unsettling whispers from anonymous sources indicated that the bank had struggled to find interest in acquiring the entire company. Consequently, they might have to resort to breaking it apart or raising fresh capital. To add to the growing suspense, any potential buyer could face significant losses due to loan markdowns. CNBC confirmed the tense atmosphere, citing an insider familiar with the matter. The regional bank was indeed assessing its options and had brought in advisors Piper Sandler and Stevens to evaluate long-term plans for the business. But the storm showed no signs of abating. PacWest, like many other regional banks, found itself battered by surging interest rates, causing the value of its loans and bond holdings to crumble. Panic-stricken customers withdrew their deposits in March, fearing the bank's collapse would leave them empty-handed. Although the Federal Deposit Insurance Corps insured accounts up to $250,000, Businesses with larger uninsured sums faced a precarious situation. West Coast regional banks were hit particularly hard in the aftermath of Silicon Valley Bank's collapse. Concerns over their similar customer bases added to the growing unease. PacWest found itself caught in the eye of the storm in the extended trading session on May 3, 2023. Other banks' stocks were also ensnared, including Western Alliance and Zions. Shares plummeted as the news spread like wildfire. Silicon Valley Bank's demise had been precipitated by higher interest rates, restricting tech industry funding, and depreciating the value of the bank's bond investments. As a result, concerns escalated for banks catering to wealthier clients, whose account balances were more likely to exceed federally insured limits. Despite the steep decline in PacWest stock, the bank's management had voiced optimism just a month earlier. They sought to quell fears that the bank run that sank Silicon Valley Bank could provoke a mass exodus from other banks. PacWest CEO Paul Taylor emphasized the strength of the bank's franchise and its loyal, diversified customer base, which had weathered the recent challenges in the banking industry. He noted that deposits had stabilized, with insured deposits increasing from 48% to 71% of total deposits between year-end and March 31st, 2023. Even more encouragingly, deposits had rebounded in April, rising by approximately $700 million. However, this glimmer of hope was overshadowed as the Federal Reserve raised its key interest rate once again, attempting to slow down the economy and reduce prices. The financial world held its breath, watching and waiting to see what the future held for PacWest and its counterparts. We truly appreciate you taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video, We'd be grateful if you could subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Your encouragement and support mean the world to us, 